One thing I've realized taking dozens of rides with Waymo and Cruise and driving over 100,000 miles on Tesla Autopilot that a lot of people probably don't realize is that Tesla FSD can actually do more with less. What I mean by this is FSD can often drive better, achieve better results, take you all the way to the destination, all on a normal production Tesla. You don't need a specially made car or an area that's pre-mapped like you do with the other services. Just an ordinary Tesla, there's millions of them out there, with just computer vision and no pre-mapping, with the resource constraints of a real production car and real production hardware, can often drive better than Waymo and Cruise can. So to test this out, I was watching this news report where a journalist struggled with Waymo in San Francisco, and I wanted to go ahead and try the exact same route, same start point, same end point, and you can see the results in this video. While the Waymo struggled and didn't get all the way to the destination, the Tesla was able to take you all the way to the parking lot with no human input required. Even though it had less, it achieved much better results. Take a look. My first stop is a random museum, and maybe I'll go to another stop. Okay, here we go. Says your car is on the way in four minutes. Oh, there it is. I see it. I guess I shouldn't wave because what's the point, right? What's the point? Oh, but it stopped. I'm here. Oh, I think it's confused. Better run before it goes away. It wasn't supposed to stop here. OK. We're going to pick my son up at the Random Museum. Okay, I think we're stopped. Oh my God. Yes, okay. All right, right now there's a green light and nothing is happening. We are stuck. And not only that, we're not even on the left-hand side properly. Uh-oh. Okay, it says our team is working to get you moving. Uh-oh. It was green light, it didn't know what to do. So how can I rely on a car to make the right decisions? when it can't read a simple green light. Now we're going. Here we go. Woo! There's my son. Hey, Max. We're almost there. Oh, this is weird. This is not where we're going. This is not where the Randall Museum is. For your safety, the doors will remain locked when we arrive. So I guess it's a little confused because this is not where the Randall Museum is. So I don't know what to do at the moment. If had there been a driver right here, I would have said, hey, you know, you this is the wrong location. And I would give him the instructors, except that there's instructions. There's nobody here right now. Now I'm going to have to call support and see what I could do, because I'm completely at a loss right now. Um, the location where I want to be is over there. And it's dropped me at the bottom of this hill. Connected to rider support. Go ahead and open your Waymo app. Okay, so go ahead and tap on your current drop off. Okay, which is Randall Museum, and it says five minute walk after drop off. I would have to go up the hill and around the block. Go to the map to find 10 location. So you'll go ahead. Let me see, hold on. All right, I'm just gonna confirm it and see what happens. I don't know what to do at this point. I hope it takes me there. So hopefully it'll make a left, but it's not. It's going to make a right. Ooh, I don't know where it's taking me right now. I wish I could talk to the driver. Uh, then tell him, make a right, make a left. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's oh, it's it going to make a right it's again. A oh, wait, wait, it might, oh, it's dropping me in the same place where it dropped me off before. Okay, uh, we're back to square one. Hello, Max. Vehicle approaching. Sorry, sorry, it didn't work out. And I felt like trapped inside here. I just felt like so useless in this. You don't hire a driverless car. It drops you off and then tells you your location is five minutes away walking. That's that's not even cool. My son could have ran or, you know, walked down the hill. That would have been okay. But what if it had been a disabled person, somebody on crutches and a wheelchair? Um, they can't do that. 
I came into this like with a lot of optimism and now I'm not sure. I would say have fun with it, but be prepared to be frustrated. So I'm gonna go now and drive down to the Randall Museum and see how easy it is to get there. Here we go. The driverless car, instead of going straight to the Randall Museum, it decided to make a right here made no sense whatsoever. And you could just see for yourself, this is an ordinary street. And the Randall Museum is at the end of the street. We have arrived. We never got here, which was the most frustrating thing. All right, now let's try the exact same route in a Tesla. See that house over there? That's the exact same place the journalist started from. Now here's the full drive. Take me to the Randall Museum. Tesla made it all the way into the parking lot of the Randall Museum, the same location that the journalist had to drive to manually to arrive at finally, after the Waymo failed to arrive there. Tesla's already doing more with less, and I can't even imagine what the next few software updates are going to bring.